Hello everyone, welcome to another Rick's Picks. Today I'm going to be doing my review of the Spider-Man figure, Jack O'Lantern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at him in packaging. Then I'm going to take a look at the figure and his accessories. And then I'm going to give you my thoughts on them. And just remember, if you do like this video, go ahead and check out my Marvel playlist and hit that like, share, and subscribe. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. So here he is on his card back. Now I like the card back. You got the classic Spider-Man logo here with Spider-Man on top. You got Marvel Comics. Age restriction. Over here you have the Hasbro logo. Then you've got this nice window here where you can see the figure, all his accessories. Spinning around this way. Now you get a really cool picture of Jack-O-Lantern. You know, a little bit about him. And then your choking hazards. Spin around to the back. All right, once again, you got that classic Spider-Man logo, Marvel Comics, Marvel, picture of Jack-O-Lantern, a little bit about his play features, and a little bit about the figure himself, and then you got your legal underneath. So, with all that being said, let's open him up and see what he's about. So here he is, out of packaging. I think he's a really cool looking figure. I always like Jack O'Lantern, even though I know he is a knockoff of the Green Goblin. I still think he's a pretty cool looking, you know, character overall. So first off, let's start with his rotation. So we have this side. You have his back. And then you have this side. And right back to the front. So now let's take a close look at some of his details. So first off, you look at his head. I like the head sculpt with him. I think that looks really cool. I like this translucent fire look that they gave him. You know, that's really neat. I do like that. I like how his chest armor is sort of a semi-metallic green. I think that's a really nice touch to him. Gives him a little extra pop. You know, and then his color code is basically standard for this particular character. So there's a lot of cool stuff happening here color-wise. I really do like this color palette overall. So now let's start looking at some of his points of articulation. So the head does move. All right, you have a shoulder joint with a swivel. You have an elbow joint, a little bit tight, but it is there. And a wrist joint. All right. You got a joint right here underneath the ribs. That goes back and forth. And you have one at the belt line. All right, spin them around this way. You have a thigh joint with a swivel. All right, you got a knee joint. And I don't think, yes, he does have a boot swivel up top. And then last but not least, he does have an ankle joint. So all his joints move pretty well. Some of them are a little bit tight. If you do get a little bit nervous about some of these tight joints, like this shoulder was a little bit tight, this upper knee joint was a little bit tight, it doesn't hurt to add a little bit of hot water to them. So now we're going to look at the different accessories he comes with. So first off, he comes with two separate hands. So he has this hand here. All right. And he has this hand here. All right. He, of course, comes with a flyer. So he has his flyer disc. Spin around to the bottom. Now, it does come with a little ball piece here. All right, that you could hook into it. That makes it a little bit more accurate. So I guess if you have, like, some sort of thing and you could put it in a flight mode, you know, it makes it a little bit more accurate to the comics. Or if you take that off, and set it like that, you could display him on it just like this. And the other thing he comes with is one of these balls comes off. So he has this little orange pumpkin ball. Of course, something similar to the Green Goblin. It just hooks onto this little nub here. All right. Now, this is the only ball that comes off. All these other balls are part of his belt. I mean, I guess it might have been cool if they could come off. But I guess you don't really need all these balls to come off if all you need is one just something to put in his hand 
And this thing likes to roll a lot. All right. So first off, let's see how well his pumpkin ball sits in his hand. All right. So it fits in there very well. No issues with that. All right, we're gonna put it back on this belt so it doesn't get lost. All right, let's swap these hands out. So let's, all right, let's do this one. All right, that pops in there. Now this hand here, that pops in there too. So both fists swap out very easily, no issues. Now let's try the glider. All right. But both feet fit nice and secure in the glider. Let's see if. All right. So now the glider doesn't sit very well with him on it. I was hoping like you could maybe try to use it as a display piece. But I'm sure probably. If you shift him around a little bit, try to find his center of balance, you might be able to pull it off. There you go. So with a little bit of playing around, you can use the glider as a stand for him. But I don't think you're going to be able to get him into too many other positions. You might have to use another stand that's probably better for something like this to, you know, keep him holding if you want to do multiple positions with him. But... As you see, it can work as a stand if you want it to. So overall, I think he's a really cool looking figure. I like his overall look to him. All his accessories swap out very well. His hands, I don't have any issues with that. All his joints move pretty well. You may want to add heat to a couple of them, but for the most part, his joints work, you know, pretty good. Um, his ball fits really nicely in his hand and hooks onto his belt very well. Might have been nice if maybe a couple of the other ones could come off, but I can understand why it's only one. His glider works as an okay stand. I mean, you could get him to stand on there. You can use it as a stand for him, but I don't think you're going to be able to get him into too many positions because it's a little bit of out of balance upon how the way it sits. But overall, I think he's a really cool looking figure and I would highly recommend him to go with the rest of your Marvel figures. So with that being said, I hope you did like this review. If you did, go ahead and check out my Marvel playlist and hit that like, share, and subscribe. They're all small clicks for you, but it really helps this channel grow. So until the next one, late.